Well, thank you very much. Uh, we simply have to move from a linear economy where we produce waste for landfill and waste for burning, with a chic word incineration, to a, a circular economy in a cradle-to-cradle -cradle way. Today, in the UK, the US and France, all synthetic carpets and a lot of other synthetic stuff are thrown on the landfill every hour. In Germany, the Benelux and Scandinavia, we burn it which is also not good. Well, you can make some energy from it, but sometimes we don't even make energy from it. What we really need to do, if we want to be able to live with 9 billion people, is go to this, this circular economy in a cradle-to-cradle -cradle way. And in a cradle-to-cradle -cradle way means that you make products from such pure materials that you can endlessly recycle at a very, very high level. And that is what we have started to do in early 2008 as a company. Today, 90%, 90% of our carpet tiles are cradle-to-cradle -cradle certified. And we have set up our own recycling business. And we make money with that. That means that we take back carpet tiles from anywhere and we process them, we separate the yarn from the backing. Today the backing is bitumen, we sell that to the road industry and to the roofing industry, and the yarn goes back to one of our yarn suppliers who has built a plant to depolymerize the yarn to the original monomere, which he normally buys from the oil industry. And today, three, since three months, 60% of our carpet tiles use yarn that is up to 100% recycled from this uh, entrepreneur. And this is the model which we should adopt worldwide with all of our industries where we make things, including the car industry. What has happened is that Ellen MacArthur, which I'm sure most of you know, is a very famous sailor. She went around the globe in 2000 and 2005. And in 2006, she stopped with competitive sailing and went into cradle to cradle and she talked with a lot of people about it for four years and she started her Anna MacArthur Foundation in September 2010 and it's about closing the loop and she stood in front of 300 or 400 people she invited me as well I didn't know her but uh, she apparently knew me and said oh you are this guy uh, who's trying to do this and she said I'm a very focused lady and behind her there was a huge screen with a lot of waves so everybody understood that she was very focused because she did it twice. And then she said, I will not stop before all schools and universities in the UK have cradle to cradle into their education program. And she commissioned, as she is sponsored by a lot of uh, English companies like uh, B&Q, um, National Grid, BT, uh, Renault and Cisco. And she asked McKinsey, to calculate what it would mean if what we do as a company would be upscaled to the whole industry in the EU alone. And that study shows that if in the EU, EU including automotive, people will go to a circular uh, economy, they will save, the EU will save, that industry will save $630 billion, equivalent to 3 to 4% of GDP. So here you have it, uh, we have a, a fantastic business opportunity whilst going to the circular economy. And um, what my goal is to preach this wherever I go, and I can tell you there are more and more companies who adopt it. And uh, one company I will mention, which is Maersk, Maersk, which is the biggest shipping company in the world, the Danish company. And you probably know that today ships are being scrapped by poor people. They scrapped the poison out in India, Bangladesh and Pakistan. What they now do, Marsk, is build modular ships. So they make it from steel and plastic and they know exactly where each part go. So after 20 or 30 years, they'll take it back, dismantle it and put it back into the raw material banks. And that is a model which we as all industry should do. And I will want to close with the fact that that makes a hell of a lot of business sense because our market share right through the crisis. I mean, we bought a company in 2007. Who the hell buys a company in 2007? In the top of the market, well, we did. Um, and right through the crisis, our market share in the carpet tile business in Europe went up from 15 to 23%. And our profitability on our original carpet business went up uh, from 1% normalized EBIT to 9% over the past four years. Now, I'm not saying this in order to brag also a little bit, but in order to give credibility 
behind a cradle-to-cradle -cradle concept so that everybody will embrace it. Because cradle-to-cradle -cradle addresses three crises. It addresses the climate uh, crisis, it addresses the raw material crisis, and it addresses the important toxicity crisis.